Hey, I'm Zach, here with Avid, and welcome to Get Started Fast with Media Composer First. I'm going to walk you through the program so that you learn the basics you need to get started. Let's begin by opening up the software. On the opening screen, you'll be greeted with the new Media Composer First dashboard. On the left, you'll find links for offers from Avid, as well as links to other tutorials and tips from the pros. On the right-hand side of the dashboard is where you'll begin. All you have to do is choose your project name and click Create. Now that we have created a project, I will walk you through the full user interface. The first thing you'll notice is there are five separate windows that open and make up the interface. We have the main navigation, the timeline, the source and record window, and two pre-made bins for your clips and sequences. Let's start with the pre-made bins. This is where your media will go once it is imported. Files for your project can be organized however you want it, even in multiple bins. This is also where your project sequence will be found. Media Composer First even gets you on the fast track with a pre-made sequence ready for you to start editing. Here we have the project window. It has tabs that allow you to control your Media Composer First settings, along with an effects tab that'll help you make your videos look just like the pros. This includes filters, transitions, and effects for both audio and video. We'll explore all these options in a later video. This part of the interface is the timeline. You can activate your timeline simply by dragging and dropping any media file into this window. Once the first clip is there, your project settings, including aspect ratio and frame rate, will be set for you. The last part of the interface is your source and record window. This is where you'll be able to review all the editing you've done in your timeline, and it also allows you to preview any media you have, whether it's audio, video, or still images. So that brings us to the end of tutorial number one. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you next time when we discuss how to find and import videos from the source browser, as well as go over Media Composer First drag and drop functions.